Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We've got a can of Buckshot Lager by the Highlander Brew Company. Yes, indeed. Little, uh, light beer for the... No, fuck. Yes, indeed. Another of the beers that were picked up when, uh, Redbeard stopped at the Highlander Brewery not that long ago. And, um, yeah, lager, 4%. I'm assuming this is going to be one hell of a easy drinking just beer. So let's get into it. Crack her open. See what we got? Yes. That is really light, really clear. Let's get at least a bit ahead, come on. Aggressive pour, aggressive pour. Picture. Really, really, really clear. Hello, hello. Wow. Like that is incredibly light, it's I, don't know, I was gonna say apple juice, but it's even lighter than that. It's like somebody poured apple juice to there and then watered it down. That's so light. Not a lot of aroma coming off it, but the aroma that is coming off it is loggery. Definitely doesn't smell bad at all. Let's give her a shot. Yep, that's a yummy lager. Wow. Wow, the caramelly flavor is still lingering. Mmm. Mmm. That's really nice. 4%? I can drink a whole bunch of these. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. I didn't spill it on the camera, but I, I spilled some beer onto the tripod of the camera right there. I cheers did too hard. First time that's ever happened. The beer is that good. Mm. Wow, that is that is unbelievably smooth and just like. One of, if not the most remarkably easy drinking beers I have ever had. Mmm, that is really nice. Buckshot is handcrafted using traditional techniques to produce a clean, sessionable lager. And that's all it says about it. Highlander Brew Co., an award-winning brewery, was founded in 2009, located in the Omaguan Highlands. We focus on quality, small batch, and handcrafted beer. I'm pretty sure that's something that says on all their beers. Ingredients are water, barley, hops, and yeast. Packaged on... Mm. Oh, really, that's actually August 16th? Wow. That's kind of surprising. bought it a month-ish ago, I want to say. So, I don't know, I'm just kind of surprised that you'd have a lager laying around for that long at the brewery. But it's still delicious. And I'm just noticing now, around the top and the bottom, there's like camo. That's actually really cool. I got nothing bad to say about your design. I'm, I'm just wondering now, like I wonder with any beer that's not super fresh, what does this taste like when it's super fresh? I would like to know. Hey, is this good now? I imagine it's maybe even better. Highlander Brew Co. Dot com will bring you to highlanderbrewco.com and 
they're not so much a place that you'd just really be passing through, but if you're traveling from Southern Ontario to Northern Ontario, and you see signs pointing towards uh, South River, then take one of those exits. I believe there are three that you can take, at least. And you cannot miss the brewery once you get into South River. It's basically like, it's bigger than any other brewer, any other building in town, I think. If there's an arena there, it might be bigger, but it's big and it's awesome. Along with their beers in the brew shop, they sell a whole bunch of, like a whole bunch. I didn't even realize, I went in there, walked to the beer, got the beer, went to the counter, and then looked to like the other side of the room basically for the first time. And it's just, kind of artisanal, like different foods and stuff and things made by people in the community, it seems like, like farmers and things like that. And just anybody that wants to sell something there, they seem to be all about supporting the local economy, which is really, really awesome. I gotta give you props for that Highlander. Many props. Another less violent cheers. I think I gotta clean that up at the end. I might actually need to take a break here. I'm recording for nine minutes now. I don't think a whole lot of that's being cut. I was going to say, not yesterday, but recently there was a vlog or two, like, in succession, that were longer than I want them to be. Again, I'm going for the 10 minute-ish mark. Without having a whole bunch of I don't like doing the jump cuts and stuff like that. It works for, excuse me, Philip DeFranco and other news shows and gaming videos and stuff like that, but I don't like doing it in this. I'm not a fan. It's just me. Well, it's not really just me. It's kind of a beer tuber thing from what I've seen. I started doing this with jump cuts. Jump cuts, blah, blah, blah. And then I stopped. There have been a decent number of changes from like when I started doing my beer daily drink vlog things to where I am now. As far as the layout and stuff like that. We've, we've come a long way, anybody who's been here for a long time. <laughs> I feel like I might be able to get do this. We're at 10.50. <clears throat> We're gonna be okay. Gotta power through. It's 4%, so it's actually pretty easy to just keep on drinking it. I don't think there will be any more real, like, and if anybody has any suggestions for things that I can do to this whole area, these guys here are probably gonna not be there for a whole lot longer because Every time I go to type something and hit the shift key or the caps lock or anything like that, I knock guys off and it's really annoying. I'll put them somewhere else, but I don't know. If anybody has suggestions for things to improve the environment that I'm in currently, let me know. Let's just do it. Take the blast. Mm. Really easy drinking. Highlander Bruco, your buckshot lager. Rating. Again, like it's 4%, so that's the only reason that I'm kind of being a freshness Nazi, as Marcel would call me. Uh, not, 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 not a beer to be aged kind of thing, but it's still really good. There wasn't any kind of sediment from sitting around for too long or anything like that, so, you know. But really good, even though it was, like, that's said October 16th. Sorry, that's said August. So, September, October, November, 
almost December now. So almost four months on a 4% logger. And still really decent. So rating on this, I am going to give that a very solid 9. Because it was really, really good in spite of everything I just said. That's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash the like button. You want to see more of my videos? Smash the subscribe button. You guys have seen me? Put the comments in the box down below. Thanks again. I'll be back with another daily vlog tomorrow. Peace out. Vlog definitely long. Bye.